Okay, so hi everyone. Uh, we have uh, Preeti with us. I'm Arindam, your host for the day. I'm a senior manager over here at Academically, and we have Preeti, who have recently qualified CAPS, right? And it's a great honor to have Preeti with us. This is going to be a very short discussion of about a very important one. A lot of questions are coming up from the young aspirants. And I would love to, you know, interact with Preeti and figure out answers from her. She is the most experienced over here. She has appeared for CAPS and cleared it in the first attempt. So many congratulations, first of all, Preeti. And uh, with that, you. if you can just give us a one minute brief about your background. I know you are in Australia currently, but you know, something else about yourself, just a minute of introduction and we'll take it forward from there on. Hello everyone, I just uh, cleared my caps uh, in the March uh, and uh, I just want to share that uh, the uh, how, hard work you give for your preparation and uh, especially the tutors like uh, Harika Ma'am and Arif sir, how they work hard for us will all pay and will uh, definitely you get your scores. Uh, I just cleared by B Pharma and I graduated in the year 2010. And okay. I gave it after 30 years of uh, like uh, gap and and also I just cleared it on first uh, attempt. So this is very like I, I just want to thank nothing else. No words really coming inspiring. from like, me. Yeah, this is one of thank. the questions. Exactly. I mean, this is one of the questions a lot of people actually ask us. You know, we have standard B for yeah. uh, like 10 years back, 15 years back. What what is it like? Like, can we clear it now? I mean, you cleared it in the first minute of the introduction itself. Yes. Uh, oh, that was the main question, right? But you know, it's it's like uh, if you want to prepare, there is no age, nothing uh, like education gap, nothing matters, just your hard work. And uh, the proper guidance is very much important. And that is what for academically is there. And I really thank again the team. Uh, and one more thing I share, what to share is, uh, especially when you start preparing by your own, like you won't be clear what to prepare and what not to prepare. Like uh, the books, what we refer are the like some some books are two thousand and three thousand pages book, and from that what to study because we are not doing PhD or B pharma. So what from that to study to get to know that is very much important. Uh, so uh, you will uh, like definitely get, get it clear from experienced tutors. And especially uh, when these tutors are uh, uh, working in Australia, so that will be more beneficial for us. Great. So, uh, Preeti, you know, my first question to you will be like, obviously, you've answered one important question that is the gap, the time gap between your last degree and the preparation of caps. But right now, yes. my question for you will be uh, see, a lot of people come to us and tell us that we heard caps is really tough. You cannot clear it in three months, right? So, was there any specific routine that you are following, right? Maybe a methodology, uh, like, you know, you were going through the recorded lectures, live sessions, then you are doing some mocks, you know, doing some own notes. The time duration that you are putting in every day, like, as a part of effort to clear this CAPS exam in the first attempt itself. Any strategy, like, what was your strategy to clear it? Okay, uh, when I joined, there was only two and a half months left for the exam date. Uh, and initially, like, I was not giving that much time. But uh, yes, I never uh, left the contact to the subject. Like, initially, daily, I was giving two hours, uh, not more than that, because I was having some other work. So, I was not uh, doing that much. But, uh, uh, like, in January, I started to work for it and I started giving more time. But after I got my assessment done, and that was that was the thing that confirmed that yes, I am going for the March because of March exam. So after that, uh, for one month, I prepared daily six hours, at least for six hours. Uh, that is for one month. Other right. I can say I have given every day the whole day uh, uh, like studying and all. Yes, every day I was studying. Uh, to, uh, are you working all uh, the time? Are you working somewhere? No, no. For last month, I left my job. So, okay. not working. And so, you're, like for last couple of months, you're focusing only on this cap thing. Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, I just moved here in Australia in last year, December. Right. So, I worked like randomly. I worked in other some, some other work, like not in professional work. I just worked for one month. And uh, when I decided, I left uh, that work. 
and i started actually preparing from january 10th or something that was my actual work i started but right. yes, it's, it's not difficult we can uh, like uh, if you have a dedication and if you want to work towards like your goal is that that i want to clear you can definitely clear it within 3 months yes from yes. our there who are like uh, saying that uh, taps is very hard and all but uh, the thing is you need proper guidance that i stated it before also uh, so guidance is more important for us and uh, like and your obviously your hard work pays so you have to work okay. now coming to the materials where are you referring to only academically is uh, you know handouts or you are you refer to some other books as well on like was is it really required that is another question actually i would i would i would uh, tell you short story like uh, initially before joining academically i was uh, i was to order some books actually i ordered amh also but okay. uh, i was not getting pharma uh, there is a comprehensive pharmacy review that is important book for this exam mm-hmm. uh, so i was getting it online and i purchased uh, this amh but you won't believe i have never opened that book once <laughs> because the was provided by academic and tutors was sufficient enough to get the exam clear and especially the mock and handouts were also benefit beneficial like uh, uh it it is the whole thing that you can do like no other books no other material required and i never referred any other material right i mean i think um, mr arif and uh, madam harika they have invested a lot of time in preparing these uh, you know handouts and these mocks with you know going through a lot of recalls yes, from yes. previous year and this actually is a lot of hard work been put into this uh, you know 15 odd handouts given to a student nowadays right so yes. and one more thing uh, you know people also ask about this calculations part right and a uh, few of them are actually you know fearing the fact that then they are not you know confident in it so uh, Yes. What would you suggest for them? These particular, you know, category of people who are afraid of calculations. So calculation is uh, like the thing that uh, if you want to learn the calculations, you need to uh, make clear about the formulas and you uh, need to learn the method how to uh, like get the answer. Uh, so it is only possible when you uh, learn these methods how to get uh, the answer. Of with this uh, many options are available like some calculations uh, are basic and some are difficult but when you know the method how to uh, get the answer that will be easy so calculus also were like uh, not that big deal for me it was very much easy and i loved calculation and the way harika mam taught uh, calculations it was very comprehensive okay i would really thank for this calculation part because initially when i joined the calculation was my biggest weakness because i was also afraid about that because i Achha. as i said i left it. so you can relate to the new aspirants who are facing the same yeah but don't worry about calculation I, i would i would must say that calculation are the thing where you can surely get points by knowing the method you will be sure that yes my i i got this answer my uh, this question will all, uh, absolutely it will be right on me right right now coming to the back fact that you know during the exam right i mean when when we are appearing for this competitive exams time management is also very important right so any tips and tricks that you want to give to the aspirants about time management and there are people set of people who are very you know particular about things but they miss on this time factor so any advice that you want to give like how to uh, you know manage time while doing their mock uh, questions you know or mock tests any any anything any idea that you have to uh, you can share uh what i did was like uh, see in our mocks uh, there are some mocks which are chapter based and there are some mocks which are general like uh, the whole subject uh, all subjects are mixed so when i was doing that i was like uh, i was first i used to check how many questions are there and then i used to uh, dedicate my time according to this i used to decide that yes 100 questions are there then was will be that as as uh, our paper and after that i used to set the alarm like within this the uh, time i had to prepare this and uh, like how we are uh, doing in paper real paper that same method i was uh, using for my mock preparation and this really helped me you won't believe 
I I like I cleared my first paper. Like I answered all the questions within uh, like less than one hour. I prepared in paper one. Like uh, all the hundred okay. questions were within within one hour. Oh, that is that is commanding. You know, absolutely. How many times are you working? And oh, I are you being overconfident or what? So I again checked I, all questions. I checked it again. Oh, so uh, like, uh, yes, uh, paper one was like that. And yes, uh, some people are get uh, lack the time during paper two mm-hmm. uh, because of calculation parts. So, but I never felt any issue. Like uh, while doing calculations, also I used to uh, see the time. Like uh, mm-hmm. what are the shortcut for this? How to save our time? Mm-hmm. So paper two uh, is like, but you have to make the strategy. Like if you are not getting answer within one minute. Just to flag it and move to the next question. Next one, right? Right, sorry. Like a lot of waste time. time. Yes, yes, okay. yes, exactly. Like uh, when I was doubtful during my real exam, I used to flag it. I just flagged it and move to the next question. After finishing all, I just go back to that flagged one and then corrected it. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, Preeti. Thank you for such a detailed explanation. One last okay. question. Just some advice yeah. for the young and aspirants. Anything and everything that you want to share in the last one minute before we wrap up this uh, beautiful uh, interview of yours. Uh, I just want to say that uh, don't uh, go to the negative news and negative informations what you get from other YouTube channel or whatever. Don't get uh, this kind of negative information if you want really want to clear gaps. It's just a proper guidance and your hard work, your dedication. That much only is required. You can like three months if you work really uh, good. Then three months are enough, and mm-hmm, that's it. I just uh, again one thing I want to the uh, like want to thank Dr. Arif sir, Dr. Atram sir, Harika ma'am, and other entire team of academically. Thank you very much. I still remember that Harika ma'am used to uh, wake up uh, till uh, late night and used to prepare mock test for us. That right. test and that both help us very, very much. You know, uh, like uh, my questions uh, were repeated from that. Like not the same answer, but the concept was same. Similar, so similar. Right. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely great, great interacting with you, Priti. It was wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for giving us time. I know time is very precious, and your insights will be, you know, really helpful to upcoming aspirants and to all aspirants who are watching this video. If you have any queries, any questions, just put it on the comment box down below. Our counselors will get back to you. Doctor Akram might, you know, figure out some time and interact with you personally, right? And thank you for your presence over here. Thank you.